layer 2 switching layer 2 switching also known as data link layer switching is the process of using devices mac address to decide what to forward frames in a lan layer 2 switching is efficient because there is no modification to the data packet only to the frame and encapsulation of the packet in a typical lan all computers are connected to one central device in the past the device was usually a hub but hubs have many disadvantages they are not aware of traffic that passes through them they create only a single collision domain etc to overcome these problems bridges were created they were better than hubs because they created multiple collision domains but they had limited number of ports finally switch were created and are still widely used in modern lan switches have more ports than bridge and can inspect incoming traffic and make forwarding decisions accordingly Layer 2 switches are much faster than routers because they don't take up time looking at the network layer header information. Instead, they look at the frame's hardware address to decide whether to forward, flood or drop the frame. Here are the major advantages of using layer 2 switching. First is hardware hardware based bridging, wire speed, low latency and low cost. Switches perform these three functions: address learning Switches learns MAC address by examining the source MAC address of each frame received by the switch. Forward filter decision. Switches decide whether to forward or filter a frame based on the destination MAC address. Loop avoidance. Switches use spanning tree protocol that is STP to prevent network loops while still permitting redundancy. How switches learn MAC address? As you probably already know, each network card has a unique identifier called media access control that is MAC address. MAC addresses are used in LAN for communication between devices on the same network. Devices that want to communicate need to know the MAC address of other device before sending out packet. Switches also use MAC address to make accurate forward and filtering decision. When the switch receives a frame it associates the media access control that is the mac address of the sending device with the interface on which it was received the table that stores such association is also known as mac address table this table is stored in the volatile memory so associations will be erased after the switch is restarted to better understand how switches learn the mac address consider the following example when switch 1 is first powered on the mac address table will be empty but when host A sends a frame to host B, the switch will add the host A's MAC address to its MAC address table, associating it with the interface Fast Ethernet 0/1. The switch will also learn the host B's MAC address when host B responds to host A, and associate it with interface Fast Ethernet 0/2. You can see this by entering the command Show MAC address table. How switches forward frames? When a frame arrives at a switch interface, the switch looks for the destination hardware that is the MAC address in its MAC table. If the destination MAC address is found in the table, the frame is only sent out of the appropriate interface. The frame won't be transmitted out any interface. However, if the destination MAC isn't listed in the MAC table, then the frames will be sent out all active interface except the interface it was received on. If a device answers the flooded frame, the MAC table is updated with the corresponding interface. We will use the following example to show how switches forward the frame. Host A is trying to communicate with host B and sends a frame. The frame arrives at the switch which looks for the destination MAC address in its MAC address table. Since the MAC address is listed in the MAC address table, the switch forwards the frame only to the port that connected to the frame's destination. In this case, fast Ethernet 0/2. Note that, however, if the MAC address was not found, the switch would flood the frame out all other ports that is fast Ethernet 0/2, 3, and 4, except the frame that it received on that is fast Ethernet 0/1. The host B would receive the flooded frame and respond to host A. The switch would then receive this frame on the port fast Ethernet 0/2 and place the source hardware address in its MAC address table. Port security. All interfaces on a Cisco switch are turned on by default. 
This means that an attacker could connect his laptop to your network through a wall socket and potentially perform an attack on your network. Luckily, there is a feature on Cisco switches called Port Security that can help you mitigate the threat. With Port Security, you can associate specific MAC address with specific interface on your switch. This enables you to restrict access to an interface so that only the authorized device can use it. If an unauthorized device is connected, you can decide the action that the switch will take, such as discarding the traffic, sending an alert, or shutting down the port. Following are the steps to configure port security. Defining the interface as an access interface using switch port mode access interface subcommand. The second is enabling port security using the switch port port security interface subcommand. Next step is defining which MAC addresses are allowed to send frame through this interface using the switch port port security MAC address, the actual MAC address interface subcommand, or using the switch port port security MAC address sticky interface subcommand. The sticky keyword instructs the switch to dynamically learn the MAC address of the currently connected host. Two steps are optional, that is, defining the action that switch will take when a frame from an unauthorized device is received. This is done using the port security violation, which has three features, protect, restrict, and shut down interface subcommand. All the three options discard the traffic from the unauthorized device. The restrict and shutdown option sends a log message when a violation occurs. Shutdown mode also shuts down the port. Defining the maximum number of MAC addresses that can be received on the port using switch port port security maximum number interface sub mode command. Let us see port security with an example. Host A is connected to fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 switch. To enable port security on fast Ethernet 0 slash 1, we need to define the port as an access port enable port security and define which MAC address are allowed to send frame through this interface. We can do this with the following set of commands. Now, once we have entered this command, we can see the result using the show, sec show port security interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 command on switch. We can see that the switch has learned the MAC address of host A. By default, maximum number of allowed MAC addresses is 1. Assign the switch IP address. By default, Cisco switches perform Ethernet frames forwarding without any configuration. This means that you can buy a Cisco switch, plug it in the right cables to connect various devices on the switch, power it on and this switch should work. However, to perform switch management over the network or use protocols such as SNMP, your switch will need to have an IP address. The IP address is configured under a logical interface known as management domain or VLAN. Usually, the default VLAN acts like a switch's own NIC for connecting into a LAN. Here are the steps to configure an IP address under the VLAN 1. Enter the VLAN configuration mode with the interface VLAN 1 global configuration command. Assign an IP address with the IP address subnet mask interface subcommand. Enable the VLAN 1 interface with no shutdown interface subcommand. The next two steps are optional. Use the IP default gateway IP address global configuration command to configure the default gateway. Add the IP name server IP address global configuration command to configure the DNS server. Here is a simple example of assigning IP address on a switch. We have a simple network of a single host and a switch. We can assign the switch with an IP address to enable IP communication between the two devices. To verify IP address set on switch, we can use the show interface VLAN 1 command. We can now also ping switch 1 from host A. Assign static MAC address. Although Cisco switches dynamically build the MAC address table by using the MAC source address of the received frames, you can also specify a static address to add the MAC address table. The static MAC address are retained even if the switch is restarted. To configure a static MAC address, the following command is used. 
MAC address table, static MAC address, VLAN ID, interface, interface. For example, the following set of commands will assign the MAC address of all one permanently to interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 2. To verify the configuration, we can use the show MAC address table command and we can see that under the MAC address, the MAC address of the device has been listed as all one.